Hey, what's happening, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome to episode three of season two of King Penny's podcast, man. Hey, we got a special guest today. Hey, I want to tell you guys, got an event on uh, August 13th, man, doing back to school haircuts for the kids, man. Got five barbers on deck. I'm going to line them up, put their handles right here, man. Hey, got a uh, chef, uh, Roses and Cilantro coming out, man. And we're going to do it real big. We're going to do free breakfast, hey, and free haircuts, man. Got a special guest appearance from Mrs. Longmont 2023. And we got other guests coming, man. So stay posted and stay tuned in. Hey, let's turn our attention to our guest, man. We got the hottest fitness trainer in Longmont right now, man. If you don't know who she is, you better tap in and find out, man. Let's go ahead and get to know our guest today. Hey, how you doing? Good. Yeah, you feeling all right? Yeah. Let's get this thing started, man. What's your name? My name is Brianna Joy. Okay. And I am from the Hill Country in Texas. Okay. The Hill Country in Texas. Where is that in Texas? Look, here is the it's Hill down there. Because I hear Matthew McConaughey talk a lot about the green. <laughs> it's down there. Yeah, I'm it's around that area. Yeah. Um, Lano, Texas. I don't know if that rings a bell. It's pretty small. Outside of Austin. About an hour outside of Boston. And that would describe the work ethic. Okay, I got that. All right. Yeah. Look, it makes a lot of things click now. So what's the family like? Um, I have a wonderful fiance and a dog and two cats. Yeah. So I've already hyped him up about the fitness thing. So what is it that you actually do? What is the actual job title here? Yeah. So I am a bodybuilding coach and personal trainer. I am also a nutritionist. I work with many different clients on a day-to-day -day basis, meeting whatever needs they need met. Okay. How did you get involved into the, in the field? So fitness was a huge part of my life growing up. Um, it was a very natural transition. I graduated high school early and went straight into my certs. Oh, wow. So, so you certified everything, huh? Ready to go. Hey, that's legit right there. I want to tell you how we met, though, right quick. Hey, met you, squat competition, you showed out, man. I, 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 I ain't never seen nobody rep like that, especially, and I hate to lump you into a female category but i'm just saying you showed all heart just period overall that was surprising because when i put that contest up there i never really put a number that high i in my mind i was just thinking like oh okay people will coast through maybe 15 20 reps and then when you showed out i was just like oh man that's crazy i'm a very competitive person <laughs> <laughs> hey yeah man and just for a minute hey that's a lot of work and uh, whatnot like that. I will post that video on the end of this too. Like, so if you want to see the uh, hey, her repping out, man, after this, man, for one minute, hey, crazy video to watch. So, how is business? It's been great. Getting a lot busier. Um, opened the door to bodybuilding coaching this year, and so that's taking the forefront of things right now. I've got my first client in prep, and it's going really well. Yeah. And how's that going? When is, when is that client up? She is up September twenty um, third in the rocky mountains natural show in colorado springs yeah so, so i've seen a picture of her right and mm -hmm. i've seen a picture of you a couple of times you're getting great results Thank and you. like that's like i was just like oh okay how long have you been just in the the fitness field and stuff like that personally like because you compete yes as well so in bodybuilding particularly over three years but in the fitness world, it really has been my whole life. Yeah. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. So who's your? Uh, who do you look up to? Who's who? Who, who motivates you in the fitness uh, industry? Honestly, I more of pull my motivation from myself. I try not to compare myself to other people. I do look up to people who have certain mindsets. Um, Justin Mahaley is one of my favorite coaches. He has a podcast. It's called the Grow or Die podcast. He's amazing. That's how you're going to plug that in on mine. My look, at just that, look, everybody's going to cut this off. Hey, she said, who now, Justin? No, I'm joking. I'm joking. No, for no, sure. But yeah, that's, that's who I look up to. Nah, that's cool. Because I want to read this, right? So I came across this, across this that your friend uh, and your one of your clients, Victoria, wrote. She goes, Bree's care and attention to both physical and mental health are incomparable. In all aspects of her life, she's driven and humble. And if you're lucky enough to work out with her, it'll challenge you to be the best version of yourself. That's crazy. I was just like, first of all, friendship. And on top of that, you're, you know what I mean? You push her. Right. And, the, and it's crazy to have the blend of the two. Like, it you is. know what I mean? And, and that's just amazing. Like, just, you know what I mean? It shows, like, your compassion. But also, at the same time, it shows your passion to push your friend to be the best version of her. 
Absolutely. And Victoria was my training partner before I even started coaching. Um, she also pushed me too, and she's been working at this for a long time. Um, it's so good to have someone you can that can mutually push each other. Yeah. It takes the work out to another level. And so if you bring that energy, then your clients start to bring that energy with you. And then everybody's just getting better together. No, that's legit. So you recently uh, picked up a couple of male clients. I did, yes. How is that? It's been going really well. Um, I've had no issues with it, yeah. no barriers. It's just been about the same as my female clients. Did you think that there was going to be? Like going into... Because, I mean, hold on. Let me ask this question the right way. Because what I, what I see is you've been getting results. Mm -hmm. you, you, you have been proving yourself as well. Right. You know what I mean? So, I mean, I don't see why that would be a problem. But to some, having a female trainer, I don't know if that would be the go-to. To be completely honest, um, with lifestyle clients, I generally stick to female. I do have a few male lifestyle clients just because it's a one-on-one -on -one private situation. Um, as long as people are respectful of me, then I'm willing to work with you. Can I, so, have, can I ask a, a lifestyle client? Like so, the definition, or, yeah. You know so I mean. lifestyle client is going to be anyone that is doing fitness or nutrition just for lifestyle and health purposes, okay. not for competition purposes. Okay. And so what all do you offer? Like, you know what I mean? Like what all does that entail? Like, so for lifestyle, I am a certified nutritionist and I offer nutrition consulting and one-on-one -on -one private sessions with me usually take about an hour. Um, it really just is tailored very much to the client and their goals and needs because every client is different. Every client has different needs, um, different limitations, different things we have to work around. So mm -hmm. it's all very personal tailored. So what's the hardest part about your job? Like if you had to like just hone in on something like this, like just hard. With personal training, and I'm sure you see this too, there are definitely times where clients will commit to training or something that they maybe can't commit to at that time, whether it be from personal limitations that they have mentally or their life is just really busy. It's always really hard to see them give up on their goals. It's not very often that you see it, but when you do, I would say that's, that's the hardest part. You don't have to answer this question, but I asked Doc Shepler this same one last mm -hmm. season, right? How do you personally push through when clients are like that? Because you still have your own training. Yes. And that's mentally like, to me, it, it, it takes away my energy mentally when I see people quit on themselves. Absolutely. Or quit on us. That's how I, because I, I take it personal. Absolutely. Like, well, you've quit on us after we've made this plan together. Yeah. How do you mentally pull yourself out of that? So, that was a really hard thing for me to learn. Um because it is easy to fall into that depression with the client. But we, we have a choice and I'm going to pour all my energy into the clients who are pouring energy into themselves. And if you're not ready to pour energy into yourself, just come back to me when you are, it's okay. We can revisit it, but I can only pour energy into you if you're pouring it into yourself too. So I've just decided to take the path of the clients who are in that place and ready to put that in. I will meet you where you are. If you're not, that's okay. I'll meet you where you are too. But when you're ready, we'll do it together. Okay. So how do you navigate now? And, and this is a weird place in the fitness industry, man, where everything is like online or over Zoom. Mm -hmm. And I don't, I don't understand it. Mm -hmm. I, I, I'll say that. But you're more of a hands-on trainer. I do prefer more of a hands-on approach um, with lifestyle clients, yes. Yeah. I think the accountability of seeing your trainer in person and having that time each week to really hold yourself accountable and show up for yourself with your trainer pushes you extra. Yeah, definitely. And somebody there. Yeah, I think like, you get a lot more results. what you got going on, I, I, I don't know. I'm always like, and I get it, you know what I'm saying? Some things you can coach online, you know Absolutely. what I mean? Or you can have a conversation or anything like that. But like when you're in the trenches though, I, I feel like I, I wanna be there with you. I'd wanna be more hands-on with you. I wanna be. Absolutely, and I do have a few online clients yeah. and we do focus a lot on, you know, the biomechanics of training. And so what we do in that case is training videos 
so that I can assess and send them back and change. So you said earlier, most of this is mental. How much of it is like, as far as like getting your clients like mentally prepared for what they're about to take on? In my opinion, I feel like it's like 85% mental. Mm -hmm. You can do, I'm a big believer that you can do anything you set your mind to. And when you start believing it and you start manifesting that on a regular basis and you're continuously putting out those positive thoughts or that I can do this thoughts, um, you're going to get it done. Yeah. So we got through the negative, right? So what's the most gratifying part of your job? Like what's the, like what gets you the biggest like, hey? Yeah. There are so many gratifying parts of this job. I, I feel like it's the best job in the world. But... I would say watching clients break down those mental barriers that they put up for themselves because people don't realize, you know, you say, oh, I can't do that very easily. People say that all the time. I can't do X, Y, and Z because of an injury or because of this. And you're giving yourself that label in your mind. So watching clients break that barrier and show themselves that they can do these things that they've told themselves they can't in the past that's the best part you know the best part for me also too is talking to entrepreneurs like yourself right so you you are fitness full-time yes when did you take that on and how has it been just working for you doing what you love like you know what I mean I love I, I love to hear people's like talk about like their passion especially if they're living off of their passion well the market here is a lot better than it was where I lived in the hill country So for me, this seemed like a much bigger opportunity. It seemed like much easier. There's a lot more people here really involved in health and fitness, and that has made the job a lot easier. I think there is a lot of people growing towards more health and fitness industry related things. And I think there's a lot more of a demand for that here than there was where I was residing in Texas. Do you make it outside a lot? Like as far as, well, Colorado's a big outdoor thing. Absolutely. Like a, a mountain hiking and outdoor stuff. Do you do that stuff or not? You just gym I all do in. a little bit of hiking. Yeah. Um, my dog's about 10 pounds, so he can hang in there for a little bit. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, I really enjoy being outside and being in my garden, but. Yeah, that's right. and you go to Dark Horse. Yes, that's where I train. Yeah, how do you how you like it over there? It's a great gym. Huh? It is a great gym. They have a lot to offer, a lot of great equipment, and a really great environment. Yeah, one of these days they're going to let me in there. You know what I mean? Yes. One day they're going to let me in and come through for the day or something like that. Yes. Yeah. I have a guest pass if you want to come get a lift in. Oh, sometime. man, hey, look here, say less. We're all, I'm on my way. Yes. So my thing is this, right? So you train other people, right? How do you get in the mind state to turn that switch on to turn your own on, like to get ready to compete? Like, so, you know what I mean? Like, I think you had said earlier, like when we had talked that next year, right, Mm -hmm. you're going to go and whatnot like that. When do you flip the switch for that? So I try to stay in that mode 24 seven, that competition mode all the time. Mm -hmm. Um, I try to keep my schedule just as it would be as if I were prepping for a show. Meal timings are the same during the day. I try to make sure that there's not a large shift when I go into a prep for a show. So that way there's not a large change for me in my day to day. I ask personal trainers this all the time and they hate the question. What do you think about other personal trainers that don't look the part? With personal trainers, I don't think like, because you definitely look the part, hands down. Like, you see you you see you see coming in, hey, right. look here. But, I mean, like I said, other personal trainers, sometimes I see them and they don't. One person, I'll give you an example. One one personal trainer asked a question. He didn't like the question. He was mm-hmm. like, oh, Bill Belichick doesn't look like he can play football. But, you know what I mean? He, right. he does the thing and stuff like that. But do you feel, how do you feel about other personal trainers that train people that aren't necessarily following or living the lifestyle that they are If you're not living and following the lifestyle, I don't think you should be leading other people to live that lifestyle. Um, That being said, everybody's body is going to look different and I would not base that off of how your body looks. I would base that off of your daily habits, your mindset, um, the way you hold yourself accountable, your consistency, not the way you look. Okay, so who does that for you? 
who who helps you keep this this edge like you say is 24 7. yeah so i am pretty tough on myself but when i fall my fiance is really good at catching me um and pushing me back to be the best version of myself that's legit because i've seen him squat too he pushed himself like hey yes. he, he got an extra gear too over there that's man. where i learned to push myself was from him that's where i learned to turn it off and just just work nah that's cool having that uh you know what i mean a relationship where people can kind yes. of you know what i'm saying you guys both relate to the same thing you both push each other you both and just to be around that i'm sure is like you know what i mean motivating and inspiring it is and it helps it helps you it helps you improve it really does surrounding yourself with people who are living the lifestyles that you want to live it helps you improve so outside of the gym right mm -hmm. and outside of the hiking and everything like that on a on a perfect day right like where you don't have anything going on where where are you at where what what where, where are you relaxed at where do you let your shoulders in i'm a homebody yeah i'm a homebody i'm pretty introverted and i i like my home so <laughs> on my relaxed days i'm at home with a book and coffee and that's where i'm spending my time no that's legit yeah that's legit last question i always ask everybody what gets you out of bed in the morning what what lights that spark in the morning like? Yeah, so I have people depending on me. And my clients are depending on me because they are learning how to show up for themselves. If I can't show up for myself, I cannot teach them how to show up for themselves. Okay. So that's what gets me up. And any advice for anybody trying to compete in bodybuilding? What advice would you give them? Absolutely. It is called bodybuilding for a reason. Take your time. Build the physique. It takes time. Be patient. Give yourself grace. The stage will always be there. And then anybody looking to get into the personal trainer field, what yeah. advice would you give them? For the personal trainer field, I would say expand your knowledge. Continue to expand your knowledge. Don't finish your certifications and think that you that your knowledge is full. You have so much to learn. You should always have so much to learn. Okay. Always be learning. Favorite body part to train? legs it's gonna have to be legs and what's on the playlist a lot of horror core <laughs> <laughs> yeah give me a song give me a song so i can go back and you know what i mean oh, kind of a lot of ghost main suicide boys ghost main, suicide boys i'm definitely i'm gonna check it out and see what's happening with it because i love when people play other music other than mine anybody who knows me knows i have the same four or five songs that are in rotation all day so okay. i always try to give up the ox Okay. Any chance, like anytime anybody comes to the gym, hey, bro, you want to connect? Because I hear the same, which I have a cadence in my mind that I kind of lift to. And either I'm R&B all together on pool days mm -hmm. or I'm like rap kind of on uh, push days. But I kind of just tend to bounce back and forth. So when other people come around, I, let me see what you're listening to. Yes. Hey, because I got this one kid comes by. He's like 18, man. He loves like 80s, like oh, pop, that's cool. rock, like, you know, like all the Miami Vice soundtrack. And so yeah. I've been on that lately because he came and played and I was just like, I never thought I would go back there. That's awesome. I think I've been listening to the same playlist for training <laughs> for the last four years. Yeah. So. so I hear certain songs. I already know what the zone is. Like, oh, yeah. oh, okay. This I can push here. Like, you yeah, know what I mean? You've got stuff. your PR songs and your. Yeah. Yes. Nah, that's cool, man. I appreciate you taking the time to sit down and answer all my questions, man. I'm sure. Absolutely. You know Thank what I mean? You. And I, look, I appreciate you coming out of the house. Look, I've been trying to get a hold of you for a while now. <laughs> but nah, I, I'm trying to tell you, everything that you're doing is great. Thank and you. You know what I mean? The results are, the proof is in the pudding. You're like, you know what I mean? I see I see the clients. I'm seeing what you're doing. And let, you. make sure you let everybody know how to get in touch with you. My bad. Look, I Absolutely. totally spaced this out. And I'm going to put it at oh, the yeah. bottom of this, too. Go ahead. Tell them the Instagram, the website, and yeah. everything. So you can find me on Instagram at Primal Joy Fitness. And my email is primaljoyfitness at gmail.com. Hey, man, that's legit. Now, like I said, I'm going to put all this on the bottom of the screen. Yeah. Keep doing your thing, fitness-wise. Uh, we're rooting for your clients. It's got the show coming up. Thank we're you. also rooting for you to win and, be, and be more successful. And keep on giving the good energy and the good results to everybody in Longmont, man. And That's beyond. Me. You know what I mean? But I'm going to hold you up on this dark horse thing where I'm like, I'm yeah. coming up in, Look, I'm coming in there for show and stuff like that. Yes. Look, they're going to let me up in here. But now, like I said, man, really proud of you. Super proud of you. I'm going to throw this video. I hope you don't mind of you squatting for a minute on Absolutely. the back end of this and show you, hey, show you the kind of work that she puts in, man. Thank you for coming through and everything like that, man. 
Hey, you heard it here, man. King Penny got Bree on here, man. Hey, you guys check her out. Everything that she offers, man. And like I said, I'm gonna post up some uh, videos of her after this, man. Hey, you guys make sure you check in at the Wade Powell and the Rockies, man. 1610 Main Street, uh, on August 13th. Hey, we're gonna be doing free back to school haircuts for the kids. Like I said, man, we're gonna have breakfast. We're gonna have everything that you need there, man. Come through, get a haircut, grab something to eat, man. Get back to your Sunday, man. Hey, we're all about helping the community, and that's what we do, man. Make sure you stay motivated, stay giving back, man. Got Brianna, got King Penny, man. We're out of here, man. Y'all awfully quiet up in here. Nice work. Nice work, sis. Keep it going. Nice work. Uh. 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 Let's go. 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 Let's